Hi, welcome back to Realm Tale. As you can see, we're standing here on top of the beautiful skyscraper that we built in the last episode. If you missed that one, make sure you check it out because not only is it the first Realm Tale episode to be uploaded in 2023 for all you people watching way in the future, but it is the start of the mega skyscraper, which we have in the middle here. As you can see, this thing is, is I, can't, I can't find an angle to fit it all in one shot. It's actually kind of crazy how big it is. Here we go. Can I do it? No, possibly. I even got uh, flight duration three rockets here, uh, which I've been using to fly to the top of this thing because, believe it or not, it takes a couple of flight duration one rockets to get to the top. So I've had to use the the flight duration three here to get to the top. Now, one thing you may notice, obviously, the skyscraper is not filled in, meaning that fall down there could probably be deathly. So we're trying to avoid that. But as of right now, I want to start building the interior for the skyscraper. That means putting in windows, and the windows will actually be see-through, unlike the windows we've used everywhere else, which is the packed ice. We're going to probably use some sort of uh, glass, maybe blue stained glass, or just regular ice if I can find a way to not make it melt. Might have to talk to the admin, Funi, to see if I can prevent icing uh, from melting. But as of right now, I'm probably going to start building the interior here. Set up my storage system, set up all of the, the cool jazzy things you'd find in a penthouse suite of a skyscraper, and I'll be right back. All right, flying back in, and we have finished the area in here. All right, as you can see over here, the main storage is marked out with the netherrack. That will probably be chests, and I'll probably put some sort of side storage here. Not entirely sure what's going to go there. Same with over here. And then on the other side, as you can see, I just got a straight down staircase. On the other side, a little bit different. I'm not sure what I'm going to put over here yet. Not going to put my storage because I think that side will be set for my storage and whatnot. However, this side might just be like a cool little lounge area. Maybe make a really cool little area just to display some cool stuff. Not sure what's going to really go over there yet. It's just kind of more for looks. I might even replicate this staircase down on the other side so we have kind of a, a split staircase right now. But most of it's mob proof. You know, there's still a bit of torch spam. But that will hopefully be fixed in the future when all of this is uh, updated. But as of right now, I have the main storage. I have a little area up here for my bed and whatnot. But I'm going to add more to the storage. I'm probably going to bring up my chest and everything and all of that regard. I also uh, added the glass here, which is nice. Uh, it's obviously not the packed ice that I did on the lower parts down here. It's a nice light blue glass that we can see into the area, which I think will be really nice. Then we also have a kind of balcony up here that we can fly into. Uh, I try to make this a little bit bigger so it's not too difficult to fly in. I don't want to be missing that and then having to use extra rockets to get in there. So I want to work on moving up all of my chests here. Probably even get some of the chests from the old base, so it's going to be a grind, but we're going to try and get it done. Okay, storage system is now complete. Only took a little bit of time, and as you can see, there's bits of stuff behind me. A button in front of me, this is the entire storage system. I'll leave it like this. If you people out there on the interwebs, internets, want to screenshot that, that's my full storage. I don't know why you'd want to screenshot it, but just in case, if you do, there it is. And then I have the bulk stuff, so we have gravel up here, and honestly, we need more oak signs here and we need to label all of these because a lot of these are filled with sand and gravel this is kind of my concrete zone have a cauldron back there to make it all into concrete then i have mass terracotta storage grass blocks and nether rack and obviously all of that and then in here we have everything else i tried my best to kind of bunch it together in things that i would use uh, that was a little bit diff difficult. You know, I have like diorite and calcite next to each other. They're very similar blocks. I use them in builds. I have no calcite though. So it's kind of like, do I even bother sorting them together? Should I just do diorite slash calcite type thing? I did that with the other stuff, kind of like jungle and birch. Those are woods I know I'll have a low amount of. However, that has kind of bit me in the butt now because having stuff like the base related concrete and then the other concretes, I, I don't know. It's just, it's one of those storage things that I might have to tweak with some time, but I will try and get used to it so I can just be like, bam, 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 bam. I know where that is, bam, bam, bam. You know what I mean? I Hopefully you know what I mean, where I can just quickly find some stuff. In other related news, no idea what I want to do over here. And with all of my pets as well, maybe I can make a little area. So that is something that I want to t uh, keep in mind. Timber, obviously, vibing right down there. And then another thing. Obviously, the area down here was used for the initial storage system. Uh, nothing is down here except my portal. I think my portal should move up here. Now, if we go past here and into this area, if I get a whole ton of dark oak, I can maybe make this whole area flat. And I think a really, like, kind of a big portal in here would be 
really, really cool. I think that would be a really cool design to put a big portal in here uh, for this area. So I might try and do that. I just need to get a whole ton of dark oak. So that will probably be my next plan for the base moving forward. But for the most part, everything down here is mostly gone. So that is a big plus for me down there. I uh, just got to finish up the portal and stuff. And then obviously this is a lot of dark. I maybe add some like street lines, like dotted lines down here to, to light up the middle because I do think it is a little bit dark. I don't think mobs can spawn. I think we're still at a good light level. But uh, I'm still not liking kind of how it how dark it does get. So light blocks underneath some yellow dotted lines might be a good play here. So that's probably what I'll go for as well. So I want to work on gathering a whole ton of dark oak to finish up the, that area up above. Okay, flying back on in to the central area here. You can see we have now made a beautiful nether portal and a beautiful little room in here. I might put some stuff up on the walls. I think would be pretty cool. Uh, the portal is too wide, so there's like this weird dead spot in between. You can still get through the portal that way. It's just it's too wide because I'm an idiot and I built my entire base on, on two blocks. So we're kind of stuck with that. But I think the portal looks pretty good here. It's a perfect square. Matches up with the windows on the outside. It kind of also has a pretty cool effect. I don't know. It's kind of like it's always in the center, but it's, it's really not. And it obviously links up to the nether as well. So it links up to my portal up on the nether ceiling, which is nice, of course. That's always something that we like to see. Yeah, there we can see. And if we go back, it also links up as well. And then the portal down below where I used to have my old storage system is completely gone. So if we fly down there as well, it is basically gone. That's not how you fly down there. It's down here is completely gone normal basically so this is probably how it's going to look and it's kind of cool to see this area finally cleared up because before it always had stuff down there now everything's moved up to the very top and we have a nice portal there i'm basically done with all of the storage center moving up into the main base here which is really nice to see that's a long time coming but we're now officially moved in to the mega base okay so it's a brand new day here on the server and like i said i finished up me on my entire storage system and with some help of my second account which he's been dying multiple times over and over again i've gotten some custom heads here and these all repl replicate all of these so prismarine mushroom block snow block uh quartz block all make sense we have concrete powder uh which represents that one and then the base related just has a light green corner in the top there then for valuables is diamond block an important thing is just the bucket on a helm uh, on a head so it actually looks pretty interesting but it's just a bucket on a head so some pixel art skills have been been pulled here cobble deep slate to represent obviously cobble deep slate in the next chest we just have deep slate to represent the products redstone obviously basalt obviously blackstone obviously as well sandstone workstations for the furnace there and then i have a miscellaneous section way down here and that's obviously marked with the question mark for the next row we have end block so purple for example it's a bit off for purple but you know it's good for now when i actually get the proper mini block i'll use that ice is also a bit off but you know we'll use that for now skulk that's an actual one glass we have here uh which is obviously there and then the base related glass is once again marked with the light green in the corner wool and then base related wool has the light green in the corner acacia slash mangrove uh is just a custom head that's been split down the middle dark oak and a site obviously tough and then amethyst slash dripstone also cut down the middle warped and crimson cut down the middle magma and then rocket supplies as well uh in the next row we have cactus so obviously cactus here we have uh the food so that's just a pig head uh, a moss block to represent all my farming stuff uh, once again base related glass and then we have terracotta and then base related terracotta i decided that mark works better than the corner because terracotta pink terracotta i don't really use that lime terracotta i do use all the time for my paths and then jungle slash birch here once again split down the middle spruce planks uh granite here once again i'll probably do the proper head uh once i get it diorite self-explanatory calcite as well soul sand nether bricks and then a skeleton head as well which actually is a skin but it looks so much like an actual skull in game so uh once again once i finally get a trident with char uh channeling and i can uh, hit a creeper i'll probably use that instead mycelium grass and dirt here just for the other other dirts the grass blocks and the other dirt as well flowers i have just a flower head pink dye and then lime dye once again to represent the dyes and then base related dyes uh we have sticks for the wood product it's just a custom stick there an oak block for my oak planks a stone block for stone obviously cobble once again stone uh smooth stone here to represent uh stone products uh netherrack for netherrack uh brewing stand here for the potions and then mob drops 
uh, tools and armor, so I have a pickaxe here, and then a shulker head. Well, it's not actually a shulker head because I've killed one uh, to represent shulkers. The previous shulker head looks like this, and it doesn't exactly look like a shulker shell. It's more just the actual shulker head, so I decided to go with a custom head here. I'll probably use all these heads and replace them, so I'll get back when that's all done. And I have another really good idea for the base. So, obviously, we've gotten a whole ton of work done with the base, storage system finished, and all of it looking actually pretty good. I also added the mini blocks down there for the terracotta and then sand and gravel as well. However, I've been looking on the outside of the building, which is a bit of a pivot from today's episode of working on the inside here. And I'm looking at the flat walls. I feel like there should be something done to break up the, the repetitiveness uh, because I kind of did this thing up here and I want to do that every so often so I'm thinking every so often I just want to break it up with just something that shoots out and then like I said that zigzag formation down the middle I also have to do uh, well I don't have to do but I think I should do because I think it'll look really good uh, so I'm gonna do both of those things finish that up and I'll be right back with uh, some updates progress has been made as you can see we have all of these little areas right down the side that are shooting out, kind of breaking up the repetitiveness of just a flat wall. Then we also have this, I think is pretty cool. Not only does it provide some logical structural support, I think it also breaks up, again, the middle. This was kind of monotonous, repetitive. It is a little dark down here, one thing I'll realize, uh, the white looks a lot more like light gray, and the whole point was to add a bit brightness inside with some color. Obviously white, I know, isn't a color, it's technically a shade, but you know, some white to kind of break up the grays. It is dark though, so it looks kind of still like white. So, I might have to do something about that, because I'm not the biggest fan of how that looks. So. If you guys have any ideas, I, I'm thinking possibly torches, but I'm not sure how I could keep hidden lighting. Because I don't want to show any torches. Uh, I'm trying to not do any torch spam. I could do end rods, but I don't know how to make that look good. So I'm kind of stuck at where I am right now. However, I am a big fan of how everything is looking so far at the base. A lot of work done in today's episode. Okay, so is now the next day here on the server. And I've added some of these right here, some end rods. I think these add a little bit of light, much needed, for the inside of the loop here. So it looks really nice. Another thing you may notice, I finally got the Farsight mod reworking. Now, I can see for ages here, and my game isn't that bad. I'm still running like 120 FPS, which I think is pretty good. I can see for so long, for whatever reason, the mod was never uninstalled. It just didn't work half the time. Uh, however, I can see for ages now, we finally get to the spot where you might even see Funi Secret Santa somewhere off in that distance. It's not too far from the base. But my god, I can get some really cinematic shots of the base from way out here. And I think it looks really cool with the, the mod in place. I don't think it needs to be that far. Like, I think I have, yeah, my render distance is only 8 chunks right at the moment. So it's only rendering 8 chunks in. It's just the fact that I've loaded them so they stay loaded. Uh, which is something that I think is really cool with the mod. So, yeah, I definitely keep kind of tweaking things at the base here. I'm just kind of playing around with uh, some things I've been doing on the, the skyscraper here. So I have some developments that I've made at the base. Now, if you remember recently, in this episode, we built the portal way down here. If we fly down here, there's a big issue with the portal, and that is the piglins. However, I have solved that. If any zombie piglin come in, they're going to enter, see that egg, want to go trample it, and then get hit by the wither roses. Even put in a doorbell right here. I think it's pretty cool, uh, and I obviously have some nice alluring signs to try, you know, and get the piglins in there. It's a nice addition to uh, the base here, and it prevents the piglins uh, from actually coming in there. I even have a collection area. Who knows, by the time that that's finished, I might get 10 gold nuggets or something. I don't know. It's not going to be much, but it's, uh, it's better than nothing. So, just a small addition I've been adding. I also need to clean this up. This is the problem with a base like this. It looks good. It's not very practical. This is something I use a lot for when I use my flower farm. And it's just kind of been put here. So, I need to find a better spot for it. Uh, it's kind of hard moving into a new base. Okay, so with that, I'm going to call it an episode for today. It's been a little bit of a shorter one, but we did get a lot of work done, obviously, with all of the things down the middle here. Obviously, officially moving into the mega base here, which I think is really great. We got a really good and efficient storage system in here as well, which I can't wait to, you know, use and expand. That will probably change as well as this side. Can't wait to add uh, things over there as well. And then even down here with the portal, everything is going along smoothly. Uh, and in the next episode, I'll probably start doing stuff with these guys over here. There's a village not too far away. And over in this section, I want to start making some residential and hotels in this section. And we might need to start moving in villagers to make a little trading hall for them. So 
right over here will be a really good spot for them. So stay tuned for that in the next episode. Once again, going to call that an episode for today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, make sure to leave it a like. And if you really liked it, subscribing is always free and it helps me out a ton. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more.